Hi and welcome to another video by me, Flojo. Today we're going to be looking at the NOT function. The NOT function effectively allows us to reverse the way we look at functions. Now what do I mean by this then? Well, firstly let's take a look at a contains function. So we've got a variable of name which is going to contain a string of Flojo. The contains function takes in the variable of name and another string such as Joe and checks to see if the last variable Joe is actually contained within the uh, string of Flojo. So in this instance we're obviously going to be expecting a return of true because Flojo is within Joe. It, Flojo actually contains Joe. Now what if we want to say does Flojo not contain Joe? How do we do this then? Well simply we take our variable again, we use the same contains function, but this time we wrap it in a not function. This effectively reverses the outcome. So in this instance, contains is still going to return a true, but what we are saying now is, does Flojo not contain Joe? Well, Flojo does contain Joe, so we're gonna be expecting a false value to be returned. So this returns a false value. Even though contains uh, returns true because Flojo does contain Joe, when we add the not function around it, it effectively reverses the statement that we're putting forward. Does Flojo not contain Joe? Well, it does contain Joe, so this statement is false. Let's actually take a look at that on Power Automate then. Awesome, so we're on Power Automate and we have our manual trigger. We're also setting our variable up, which is a string variable of name, and we're setting Flojo to it. Then we are going to be using the contains function to check to see if the variable of name contains Joe. Now, does Flojo contain Joe? Yes, it does, so we're expecting a true result back. The next statement we're going to be checking is does the variable name Flojo, does it not contain Joe? Now obviously it does contain Joe, so we're going to be expecting a true value back for the contains function, but because we're saying does it not contain Joe, we're going to be expecting a false value back because it does indeed contain Joe. So how do we achieve this then? How do we change the statement? Well, like we saw moments ago, we have the not function surrounding our contains, which is being used in the previous statement. And we'll see what actually happens when we run this on Power Automate. Okay, so we're checking if the name variable Flojo contains Joe. It does. So we get a true value back. Now what we're doing is we're checking if the name variable Flojo does not contain Joe. Well, this is going to return a false because it does contain Joe. So we've just reversed the statement and we have been able to use the not function on Power Automate to do this. That's it from me, Flojo. Check out my blog at flojo.io for more guides on the Power Platform. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.